that was funny. That was the wrong intro. But who cares? That's all right. Still a comic who says production indeed. What's up, everyone? This is Al Mega, your host today. And today I have an awesome, awesome creator that's part of the uh, Geek Fest year eight. Uh, his name is Justin Zimmerman. Before he even comes on, my man got something called uh, Jack the Radio Creature. That's what's touring. Amazing stuff. I'm going to show you some great stuff. So let's bring on our guest today, the one and only Jay Z. What's going on? <laughs> great to be here. Thank you for that exuberant introduction. So it's, it's appreciated. No, thanks for hanging out with us today and talk a little bit about that film you have on tour uh, this year with the Geek Fest Film Fest. You know, um, I, I got a, a chance to check out that video. Fire, fire video. Going to show you some images, folks, in a little bit. But, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, Justin, you know, where you're from and, and, and where, does, where does your fandom start from as well? I'm a, a filmmaker 20 years. I got my master's uh, about 20 years ago, and I've been making social oriented documentaries, narrative films, and music videos ever since. And in the last 10 years, I have been uh, creating comics, both independent and, and published work. And so something like Jack the Radio Creatures brings all of that coolness together. Um, I was working with George, who is the lead singer songwriter of the band. They're astounding. And their album that came out last year in the middle of COVID, God bless them, uh, uh, Creatures, is is a, is just an amazing, amazing tour de force. And so they're a North Carolina band. I worked with them on their uh, their graphic novel that went along with the album. And from there, we just developed a really great relationship. And they brought me on with my team to make a fully animated music video based on a lot of this incredible art from their from their comic book accompaniment. And from there, we've just been uh, uh, we've just been close uh, ever ever since. So it's really great to see the, the the comic book community and the film festival community pick up the music video. It's going to be showing all year long. Um, very very proud of it, and uh, yeah, can't wait for people to to check it out. Oh man, talk about people checking it out. I I, I got to show people. Let's, let's do a little screen share. Just give people a a, a taste of, of what we're talking about here. All right. Oh, there we are. And so what George did uh, with the band is they created a short story for every single one of the tracks. And George has an astounding array of creators from uh, his neck of the woods that illustrated these beautiful, beautiful scripts based on these, these, uh, these songs. And so what you'll see here are a number of stills from the music video that we bring to life in a bunch of different ways through visual effects and a huge shout out to uh, Matt Estron who was worked hand in hand with me on the VFX and Tori yeah. Maurer who helped uh, produce and, and kind of keep it all together moving forward. So, you know, we would break up each page and a bunch of panels, we would animate them, we would add visual effects and, and I directed and edited the piece. Every, every shot is a, a little beautiful tribute oh. to the band and to the songs and to the, to the incredible array of artists that, that work on the project. So yeah, it, it was a, uh, it was a blast to, uh, to create. Um, and we worked uh, very hard on it and, and yeah, just had a, just had a wonderful time bringing it to life for George and oh. in Jack the radio. Oh man. I can't imagine putting this together. Must've been a total blast. The coloring and all uh, the, just the flow. Of the particular video that I saw, I mean everything. It, it is a motion comic, folks, in a sense. You know, with a soundtrack. So you really start digging into it. It's pretty hot. I mean, again. Uh, so you said there's a variety of artists that that, that uh, illustrated here. Yeah, every shot is illustrated by a different artist, and mm. so it was neat. Instead of trying to create, you know, a lot of times you see motion comics and they're trying to uh, recreate the idea of reading it on the page. So they're scripted and they're voice acted and like their mouths have to move and whatnot. We didn't have to worry about any of that here. All we did was we concentrated on our very favorite shots and then bringing them to life. And then part of my role as the director and then the editor, of course, was making that feel cohesive as a whole so that all of the different aspects kind of work together and also pay tribute to what I think is a, is a beautiful song on the album. Um, though between you and me, my favorite song on the album, and I wish I wish we could have done a uh, animated music video for it is uh, this this track called Secret City. So, okay. so go look up on Spotify, iTunes, anywhere you can. Look up Jack the Radio Creatures and at least give the album a whirl. But no, Secret Cities is is, is my one That's of my favorite. Jam. That's a jam. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the band does sound really awesome, though. As I was, like I said, and, and again, 
with the imagery and, and their sound, you, you, you immersed. And again, with beautiful art like this, I mean, you, you yeah. just can't go wrong. I mean, and, and, and even in a scene like this, you know, even the emoting, you, you know, ooh, you can tell what's going on here. Well, and, and how we move the camera, you know, how does yeah. the, how do the different planes work together, the foreground, the midground, and the background. We talk about that a ton. When we're adding visual effects, how do they accentuate what's going on in the image and not detract from it? All of that stuff is part of the directorial process, which I just love. So this is a neat... Um, a neat pipeline that that my team and I have created. We've used it in multiple different projects, and I just hope we get to keep keep working in this realm. Um, Please do. It doesn't hurt that George had all of this incredible art already for us to to, to really jump into to chop up and and, and make something even crazier out of it. Wow, insane! Absolutely. I mean, oof, look at that scene. Yeah, yeah, that was a fun. Gorgeous, one. gorgeous. It was this your first type of project in in, in this realm like this? You know, with mo comic. And music. I think it was the first time that I applied this not to a, a book trailer or to a personal piece. I think this is okay. the first time we really jumped into it on the music video front, which adds a, a there's a safety net in the sense that you're cutting with into uh, a, an incredible track of music. But at the same time, your responsibility is almost heightened because, like I said, all these things have to work together. So none of them distract from each other. Yeah. And uh, it's 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 way more exciting just to watch this thing and soak it up than, than probably hear me talking about it. But what, <laughs> what a huge responsibility to make sure that you're representing music and musicians that you really love in the best way you possibly can. I mean, what well, um, looks more rock and roll than an image like this too, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, what's going That's on? That's how I feel when I wake up on Monday morning. So I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is actually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. Like, get away. The weekend's coming by Thursday. So <laughs> Thursday, I could see some angelic ladies on a Friday, you know, sign, even more angelic. Like, yay, and the weekend just party hardy. Sunday really, will be the depressed day. You really put yourself into this image. And I <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, I, I love this scene when it popped up because just the, the, the animation of it, when it happened, this scene was pretty dope in it. How the ice just popped out. It was really reminding me of the old, old school, like Ren and Stimpy kind of stuff. Yeah, and 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 again there too. That's timed so perfectly with yeah. the music. You want to just feel like it all works together, even if even if it we're constructing something. You want it to feel like it's supposed to be there in the first place. That's why I like editing and timing, gotcha. um, and that's why I really do like to to be a part of that aspect of my projects, not handing it off. Because if you have that small of a crew and and you have that that need of a conversation with a band, you you want to make sure every moment's perfect. I agree. Oh man, fire, fire! That, that's a tattoo right here. <laughs> yeah, that's actually from the Secret Cities uh, song that I love so oh, much. Oh, there it's you one go. One of my favorite shots in the in the music video for sure. I like in the art design. The smoke wheel looks really did a good job with it. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Great stuff. <laughs> he won't gain weight. <laughs> <laughs> this is gangster right here too. Yeah. Yeah, again, you know, sometimes the simplest shots are just accentuating what's yeah. already there. His digital process is so perfect that it almost was already separated for us to 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 bring in. Um, it's one of my favorite shots in the in the piece. Yeah, this is great, and this is fun. This might be Los Lobos. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, now that's freaky, <laughs> Mister Gi the Giraffe Man. <laughs> Yeah, there's something, oh. something really surreal and road movie about the about the piece um, yeah. and about each shot too, and that's that's of course fun to play off of. Yeah, he's definitely smoking a blunt and rocking out. <laughs> so again, these are just great pieces, great use of color, man. The, 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 this video is absolutely amazing, bro. Well, I appreciate and, uh, it. And I know the band will too. And any way I can help spread the word about their incredible music, I'm. Um, I'm here for. I, I was a fan of their of their work first and foremost. Well, great, great, and all right. So you know what? Let me actually break into a quick Geek Fest commercial because I also want to talk about another project you you have that successfully was funded. I see, <laughs> <laughs> and you have many days to go. But wow, is it such a, a worthy thing to discuss uh, to today for sure? Because wow, uh, I think I myself is going to have to pitch in because that was some real. It's really good stuff. So, folks, you know, tune in. You know, you don't know what uh, Geek Fest is about. What well, you're about to learn, folks.
Spotify, shout out to Brillo and, and make sure to check out geekfestla.com so you could also check out Justin's video right there. Uh, woo! Party stuff. There's great stuff. So um, let's get into this other project you got, though, right now. Yeah, I, I uh, have a Kickstarter live now. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this. This is a documentary, so we're on a different kind of level. And it's uh, just go to soldierdocumentary.com. And you'll see exactly what we are talking about. And actually, um, I wanted to share the, the, the trailer you have on the Kickstarter. Sure. Let's play it so people get the, the gist and we could discuss this a little bit. This is a story about a modern-day superhero. My name is Justin Zimmerman, and I'm here to introduce my newest film. Do you hear it? Soldier. Soldier focuses on Daniel Cruz. He's a heroic firefighter, father of five. Oh, I can't hear you anymore. Great video, brother. Great video. Thank you. So, I mean, basically, and you got the gist there, you know, Daniel is a, a modern day superhero. He's a firefighter, um, SWAT trainer, MMA, former MMA champion, um, a former sniper with uh, combat and recovery experience in Tibet nice. and uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. And so what we're talking about here is a mo like literally a modern day superhero, which really does fit into a lot of my, not only documentary, but my comic book work. But someone who has lost nine of their best friends in the past eight years because of suicide, someone who knows a hundred people who they've lost since their Iraq days. Um, there's a whole other aspect of PTSD and trauma that that really doesn't get discussed much and especially through the lens of somebody who who's been there been at the the line and is still is still with us so to me i wanted to 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 talk about another level of being a superhero another level of the things we don't get into much in the the comic book world mm -hmm. uh, maybe um through tom king like we we talked about earlier yes. uh, vision or um mr miracle or or even his um, Heroes in Crisis series, but yeah. you know, it to me it was just essential to 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 tell this story. It took me a while to get to the point where I was ready to do it, and then I've been working on it for almost half a year now, even before you know we launched the Kickstarter. So this weekend we achieved our goal, but it's it's we want more people to come along with us on this ride. We want to have more people with us as we as we shoot, as we edit, as we submit to film festivals. And we, any help now just helps us make a bigger and better film that we can then submit into more film festivals. So we would, I mean, I love it if people would come and, and check out the work um, and, and be part of this, this journey that we're, they're taking on, uh, we're taking on together. Um, 
And it, it's, I think one of the best ways is to, to, to learn is just to accompany uh, folks while they're making their work. And so we're, we're pretty transparent about the process and you're seeing that here as well. Yeah, definitely. You see a lot of information. You see a lot of what's going on with a lot of different pledge levels, folks. And this is a very important topic that, you know, and and thank you for addressing this. You know, hopefully this could also help stir and continue conversation in regards to, you know, folks like that. I mean, that, that that's heavy for him to lose so many friends in such a short period of time. And it's always the goal, because one of the problems, especially now that we're all kind of cloistered we're, we're all away from each other especially because of because of covid is is that we're, we it's very difficult to connect and one of the things that i really love about documentaries uh is that they connect you with people whose stories you you perhaps hadn't heard before i think this is a very distinct uh story but as daniel will be the first one to talk about we all deal with trauma and some of us have uh have 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 and, and this isn't isolated to the military by any stretch of the imagination. Daniel talks about trying to help people through his story that have that are that are out there feeling alone, ha have had um, uh, are, are, are dealing with 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 issues that they feel that they're that they cannot connect to other people about. And he's out there saying, listen, you can we, we you are a soldier. We can soldier on together. We can make it through this. And to to see his process and to see how the how many friends he's lost, I think is essential to that to that conversation. So that's why we're so committed to not only finishing the film but getting into as many film festivals across the country and the world as possible because we want we don't want people to feel alone. Excellent. Yeah, man. Well, again, thank you for doing that. Uh, that that's great stuff, and you know, bless, bro. Um, so again, back with the Geek Fest, man. When did uh, how, how did the process happen here? When did you guys get selected? You know, it is exciting because fans definitely need to check this out, man. You know, right? you said everybody being locked in. This is fun. This is comics and music. <laughs> it's it, you know the same kind of process. the 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 idea is when you finish a project and you work with your team to figure out where you would like it to go. There, you, you decide what what fest you want to submit to and 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 who you want to connect to. And this was a pretty easy. Um, leap to make. You've got a festival that um, gets on the road to comic book conventions, which is great because uh, that's one of my favorite things to be at comic book convention. <laughs> and also celebrates a lot of the things that we all really enjoy from uh, from genre stuff to comic book specific stuff. It's a neat thing to, to, to be a part of. So we're really glad to be selected. And again, for me, it's just getting the word out about this amazing band and these amazing artists. Uh, what what a better way to do it than, than through this fest. Yeah, man. Bill definitely puts on a great show and bring in amazing talent like yourself uh, so people could see all this amazing work. Now, you know, you say you love comic con and stuff. Let me, let me ask here. I want to get a little bit into your geeky side here. What's your flavor? You're a DC guy, you're a Marvel guy, or, or or who's just your favorite character, period? I mean, to me, I just love um, my favorite comics of all time, and I'm going to come across as very old because I am, are <laughs> uh, Alan Moore, Steve Bissett, and John Total been Swamp Thing. And ah, recently, those Absolute Editions, two of the three have been released, which are recolored, which are really, really cool and, and really beautifully printed. But there was a limited series it, it got about 18 issues in and then they canceled it back in the day and they're really easy to find they're called essential vertigo swamp oh, yeah. and those are the work with no colors whatsoever just just the black and white line work and the astounding astounding scripts there is a there is an alchemy there between those three individuals and in that book that i think has to this day not been replicated in the comic book world yep. and i always ask people to go back and check that work out because it is it's not the most well known of Alan Moore stuff, but to me it's it's just some of the it's best comics ever created. Got to, did you get to see the Swamp Thing TV show when it came out? That they at least at least they had that Bernie looking um Bernie Wright looking swampy. And you could see they they did take a lot from from their work kind of visually, less so the story wise. And I think they did give Steve Bissett a shout out in the end, but I think they also spelled his name wrong. So there you go. <laughs> Bad the editing. Deal. I'm gonna Shame keep going back you. to the comics. I'm gonna keep you going know. back to the comics. All right, this has been fun. You're awesome, man. You do a lot of great stuff, man. So let us know a little bit about about the website because I'm also so you have a company Brickler Down. 
Yep. Bring it so out that, we can kind of keep keep uh, up the track, uh, up to speed on what I'm doing, where I'm doing it, and and why I'm doing it. And then of course, Jack the Radio, one of the greatest bands in the country. Um, go straight to their website. You can see more of this art. You can buy more of their merch, and and you can listen to their to just their 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 transcendent music. Well, you know, I always like to to I have this a deck of questions here that I like to just shuffle up. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick a random card. Oh boy. And, and, and you know, and hopefully you could answer the question. They're never dirty, you know. So don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm not scared of you. Let's do it. All right. So it goes here. Hmm. Would you go? Would you rather go? 30 days without your phone or your entire life without dessert? Oh, easily. I'd be fine with 30 days. That would be the greatest vacation of my life. I <laughs> have anything to worry about. Just relax, read a book. And eat dessert every day. <laughs> I love dessert. I'm also a dessert person. So, yeah. No, that's an easy question. There you go. All right. Awesome. This is just random, funny question. But good one. I, yeah, I would definitely. I agree. Nowadays, yes, it would be a, a, a hell of a vacation just I'm, to not have to pick that up. I'm tethered to this stupid thing. I would probably be the best moment of my life if someone took it. <laughs> it would be like that commercial, right, with the, 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 the phone carrier commercial where you are tethered, in fact, until you get the new contract and all of a sudden the cable snaps out. You're like, oh, man, yes, I'm, I'm free. free. <laughs> well, excellent. Thank, thank you for uh, joining us today. Folks, you got to make sure to check him out. I'm going to repeat this right here. Look, brickadown.com. Check out a lot of his work on the Jack the Radio. You can see the uh, the creatures and all that good stuff there. All right. Please show love to the Soldier documentary. Uh, that's the website. Obviously, it's on Kickstarter. Again, congrats on getting it funded. But there's still more to go. So that way, as you said, you know, it's a project, but it's a, a very worthy one, folks. So, you know, show that love. And, of course, visit a homie over here at thegeekfestla.com so you can see all of the uh, great films that are up on the tour so you guys check it out, all right? So with that, again, Justin, thank you so much for hanging out and, and talking about uh, Dr. Ray, your creatures and the Sawyer documentary. You rock, brother. I really appreciate it. Bless, man, and I, I keep doing such a, a great job. Well, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here, and, and thanks for helping spread the word. Absolutely, yo. And with that, I'm out, Mega. All right? Wait, Papa, que tu sepa. Hasta la próxima. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this Comic Crusaders production. For real time news on all things pop culture, please feel free to follow us on social media. For articles, original content, merchandise, and more, please go to www.comiccrusaders.com. Also follow along with all of the websites of the Comic Crusaders family. As always, if you like this content, please click like and subscribe to the Comic Crusaders YouTube channel.